Now, let us see some of the singular and plural forms for nouns. Already in the previous class, we discussed the singular and plural forms of nouns. And for some of the nouns, there is no singular form. Let us see some examples for the nouns for which there is no singular form. What are those nouns? Let us see. Cattle, trousers, scissors. Pilers, police, glasses, spectacles, another name is goggles, pants, shorts. So these are some of the words for which there is no singular form. Similarly, we have words for which there is no plural form. News. So, news Information, measles, furniture, baggage, advice, knowledge, rubbish. So, for these words, there is no plural form. See, boys, the reason for teaching all these things is, sometimes we make mistakes when you are, when we are communicating, when we are writing or when we are speaking in English. I, I have to apologize with you. I am sorry, in the previous lecture, even I also made a small mistake in the spelling. In the previous lecture, if you check, then I have written the spelling for tuition as T-U-I-T-I-O-N. The correct spelling is T-U-T-I-O-N. We were discussing about the origin of the word intuition. So the correct spelling for tuition is this one. I realized the mistake after completing my lecture or after completing the class. The previous class I made a mistake. It is all because of the force of habit. Sometimes when we do things in a hurry we make mistakes. So. I was in a hurry to complete the lecture within one hour. I made a mistake. Just like this. Even learned people also make a few mistakes. When learned people are making a mistake, why not students? Students are making mistakes, grammatical mistakes, spelling mistakes in English. So while they are Speaking, reading, writing, they make lot of mistakes. The communicative English is introduced in the curriculum only to correct all these mistakes of our students. Sometimes we say furniture, furnitures, that is wrong. 
बिकॉज देर इज नो प्लूरल फॉर्म फॉर फर्नीचर फर्नीचर मीन्स दट इट सेल्फ इज य प्लूरल वर्ड सो देर इज नो सेपरेट प्लूरल फॉर्म फॉर दैट सो फर्नीचर रेफर्स टू ऑल द आर्टिकल्स चेयर्स टेबल्स बेंचेस विच आर यूज बाई एस ए ग्रुप ऑफ आइटम्स बैगेज प्लूरल बैकेजेस देर इज नो प्लूरल फॉर्म दैट इज रॉन्ग बैकेजेस इज रॉन्ग अडवाइस नॉलेज रबिश न्यूज देर इज नो प्लूरल फॉर्म Similarly, there is no singular form for these words. Also, cattle trousers. We should not say trouser. If you say trouser, it is wrong. So there is no singular form for a trouser. By force of habit, we will cut it. Yes, trousers. We will take it as plural. To tell it singularly, we will say trouser. Pants. If you say pants, that is correct English. But if you say pant, it is not correct English because there is no singular form for pants. So after the singular and the plural forms of nouns, we should be familiar with the nouns for which there is no singular form and nouns for which there is no plural form. so we should be familiar with all these things now coming to the task given below task 1 this is given in your book page number 39 english workbook published by the tamil nadu state council for higher education i have sent you the pdf material also please go to page number 39 we have the task so from these words you have to fill in the blanks you have to find the suitable for words from this uh, table that is given above the table contains nouns for which there is no singular form and for which there is no plural form first question my mother is a good seamstress my mother is a good seamstress what is the meaning of the word seamstress that means uh, one who stitches clothes we call the professions professional who stitches cloth as tailor so tailor is another word for seamstress my mother is a good seamstress that means she is not a professional she is not a commercial she is not stitching the clothes commercially that means for other people your mother may stitch the clothes for your sisters brothers younger brothers or and also for you also or at least for her clothes she she may stitch her own clothes so your mother is a good seamstress and you say she needs a pair of dash so i hope you all know what a tailor needs find the word from the table and fill it second one you can cut the wire you can cut the wire because i have a pair of dash in my tool kit so i have a tool kits bag in that bag i have something by which you can cut wire or cut any object what is it find it from the table 
Your pair of. Your pair of dash. Find it. Third one. I will be going to the beach in a pair of dash. For what purpose you are going to the beach? Mostly people are going to the beach for a swim. If you go for a swim in the beach, then which is convenient for you? Which dress is convenient for you? Fill it. I will be going to, a, going to the beach in a pair of dash. I am not able to read without my I am not able to read without my dash. You are not able to read without your dash. Does it mean food? Does it mean snacks? Does it mean books? Find the answer from the table. That is uh, from the table which is giving you the singular, no singular form and no plural form. List of words for which there is no singular form and for which there is no plural form. Fifth one. The television is awash. The television is awash with dash. About the president's visit. Recently, our president of India, who is our president, president of our country, Honorable President Dr. Ramnath Govind. So he recently visited Chennai. He was on a pilgrimage to Tirupati. The Honorable President was received by our Honorable Governor. Who is our Governor? Please try to find the name. So, our president was received by our governor. It is the protocol. Whenever a president visits the state, the protocol says the governor should receive the president in the airport. And along with the governor, the chief minister and other ministers are receiving the president. So, because of the visit, we saw many news items in the papers as well as in the television channels. So the television is awash. What is the meaning awash or awash? The television is awash with the dash about the president's visit. Try to find the meaning of awash in the dictionary. I have found the meaning. Full of Filled with. These are all the meanings for awash. So the television is full with or filled with or full of dash about the president's visit. So this is your uh, fifth question. And sixth one. Of the new dash, we got for our home. We got for our home. I like the sofa of the new. 
that's we got for our home i like this sofa see we purchase many thing for our home we purchase utensil vessels we purchase screen cloths we purchase soaps detergents cosmetics grocery items vegetables for our own use in our home so we purchase many items and you have to find the correct word from the last word that is given in the question of the new dash we got for our home i like the sofa try to find under which category the sofa comes whether it comes under the category of clothes utensils vegetables or grocery items find the word from the table given above so this is your task 1 question number 7 some people do not listen to the dash some people do not listen listen to the dash given by their well wishers see you are our students who are your well wishers first your parents other elders in your family if you come to the college principal your professors they are all well wishers but do we listen the words of our well wishers it is very difficult for the younger generation to listen to the words of their well wishers so find a suitable word some people do not listen to the dash given by their well wishers 8 the dash is on the notice board the dash is on the notice board suppose if you come to the college you can see the notice board here our principal's room and if you come to the department each and every department has a notice board in the department of chemistry we have a notice board near the chemistry laboratory so you can see the notice board if you come to the chemistry department laboratory in the main entrance itself near the main door we have the notice and in the college entrance you have the notice board so what do you get from the notice board what is available in the notice board you have to fill the dash is on the notice board find the word from the table question number 9 the flight arrived on time but our dash came late fill in the blanks the flight arrived on time but our dash came late you have to find the suitable word and tenth one is the dash are the law enforcing agency the dash are the law enforcing agency see we have different law enforcing agencies court court is a law enforcing agency 
just like the courts we have other law enforcing agencies also fill it in and you have to find the word correct word from the table given above so this is your task 1 you are given 10 10 questions fill the 10 questions and you can find the answers for the 10 questions from the table given above for the table contains the words for which there is no singular form there is no plural form also find so on each side you are you are having more than 9 or 8 or 8 or 9 words so together you will have some 16 or 18 words from this 18 words you have to find the answer for the 10 questions now let us move to the task 2 fill in the blanks fill in the blanks this is your task 2 given in page number 39 even if you have any difficulty in uh, going through the pdf material that i have already sent or in purchasing the book you can follow this lecture that's why i am writing it clearly so you fill in the blanks with the singular or plural yes stands for singular pl stands for plural so you have two sections on one side you write the singular and on another side you write the plural so what is a singular for feet fine singular for feet what is the plural for knife fill in the blanks so you write what is the plural for baby what is the plural for watch what is the plural for teeth what is the plural for sorry plural is media what is the singular for media media teeth what is the plural for self what is the plural for dictionary what is the plural singular for taxes singular for taxes okay what is the plural for industry so this is your second task you have to fill in the blanks with singular or plural singular on left side right side you have the plural singular for feet plural for knife plural for baby plural form for watch singular for teeth singular for media sing plural for self plural for dictionary singular for taxes plural for industry so this is your uh, task to now after completing the task let us move to the other forms of noun see i already told you the nouns are of different types the nouns are naming words and some of them are general indicating 
the nature indicating the sex whether it is a male or female that is also a nature oh, so we have uh, naming words from the naming words we can understand whether it is uh, indicating the male or female so if you indicate the sex of the individual or any individual thing by as male or female you are speaking about the gender so if you mention about the mention mention or if you convey whether the naming word is referring to a male or female it is speaks about the gender so let us see the gender form of nouns first let us see the gender form of nouns in human beings see we have uh, man and woman man is male woman is female so in human beings we have two forms men are known for their muscles masculine so in human beings we have the masculine form please remember the words masculine form it refers to men we have the feminine form of now masculine form of now and uh, feminine form of nouns what are they for example if the masculine form of noun head father what is the feminine form for father it is mother masculine form husband wife feminine form son daughter feminine form remember nephew who is your nephew okay your sister's son your sister's son your brother's son he is your nephew he is your nephew whereas your sister's daughter your brother's daughter is the niece so nephew niece nephew is the masculine form it refers to boys sister's son brother's son feminine form is niece sister's daughter brother's daughter that is your niece and your mother's brother or father's brother is your uncle your mother's sister or your father's sister is aunt you call them as auntie 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 is a lady feminine form for uncle uncle is a man male so these are the gender form of nouns in human beings similarly we have the gender form of nouns in animals also and in the case of animals we have the gender form for male female and we have the different words for young animals also if the animal is young for example we have the pet animals the dog dogs if the dog is a young one just born newborn we call it as a puppy so young dog is called as a puppy some one week old two week or one month old dog that is called as a puppy and 
we have goat or sheep the sheep the young one is called as a lamb l a m b lamb so let us make a comparison among the animals how the nouns are used to identify the animals apart from their gender we have the young ones also how to categorize so first let us have the animal name of course you can find the find such exercise in the english lessons of your lower classes some 7th or 8th class students they also study in the matriculation syllabus once again it is repeated it is have it is better to have a practice so animal what is the male name female name and young one what is the name for young one you have to remember the names of young one animal is the first animal ash ash male name is called as jackass of course we have we know animals which are called as ash donkey but we don't make use of this uh, male name or uh, female name the native speakers may use suppose if you go read uh, any novels or story books the specific names may be used jackass is the male name jenny as is the female name and the young one is called as the foul ash and ash foul young one foul chicken name of the animal is chicken male name is called as your rooster or cock female name is hen and the young one is called as chick young one is called as chick and third one deer male is buck doe female name and the young one is called as fawn Yagon is called as fawn. Dog, animal name dog. Male is called as a dog. Female is called as bitch. We don't call the female dog as bitch, but sometimes I have read people used to curse son of a bitch. that means a female dog son of a bitch people used to curse out of anger sometimes people used people used to shout son of a bitch the young one is called as the pup puppy or pup animal name is sheep male is called as ram female is called as ev ev is the female name and the young one is called as lamp l a m p lamp so these are the young ones lamp now it is your duty somehow refer the english dictionary or uh, go to the encyclopedia whatever may be whatever may be your source you are most welcome and your work will be appreciated if you find the meaning for the sorry 
if you find a male female and young name for these animals goose what is the male name female name and young one similarly we have other animals goose whale swan horse and rabbit so try to find the male name female name and the young one for goose whale swan horse rabbit i tell you frankly even i don't know the male and female names for whale young young ones swans horse rabbit the book is not giving the answer i have to refer encyclopedia or a, a dictionary to find the names do it yourself you also refer and give the male nouns female young nouns for the names of these animals namely goose whale swan horse and rabbit i have given the other names that is available in the book so let us move to the next item see we have different forms of nouns for example i tell you that sendil likes vijayan see i don't even change the names that is given in your book because our students find sometimes they, they may get uh, confused so to avoid this confusion i directly deal the matter that is given in your textbook for communicative english published by the tamil nadu state council for higher education sentil likes vijayan now i put a question who likes vijayan if i ask you i have given the statement sentil like sentil likes vijayan and i ask you who likes vijayan you will say sentil likes vijayan the lion attacked the deer i tell you the lion attacked the deer and i ask you what attacked the deer you will say the lion attacked the deer so in these cases you say sendil lion so these are your subjects these are your subjects now i modify the question sendil likes vijayan instead of asking who likes vijayan i ask who does sendil like who does sendil like sendil likes vijayan whom does sendil like so the other part sendil likes vijayan sendil becomes a subject and vijayan becomes the object so sendil subject vijayan is the object the lion attacked the deer who was attacked by the lion you will give the answer the lion attacked the deer or what did the lion attack 
deer so that is your object i modify this statement this is sendil's pen i say whose pen is this it is sendil's pen so this pen is possessed by sendil so it is a possessive material it is possessed by sendil this is the lion's den what is a den den is a cave lions they live used to live in caves suppose if you have any rocky area in the forest the lions they used to live in the caves the cave is called as a den or the place where lions live is called as lions den so if i ask you whose den is it you will say it is the lions den so den it is a possessive thing it is possessed by lion so based on these namely subject object and possessiveness we classify the nouns as cases or case nouns we have different cases one is subjective case first example sendil likes vijayan who likes vijayan sendil likes vijayan so it is a subjective case sendil likes vijayan i modify the question whom does sendil like vijayan is the answer what did the lion attack deer is the answer so that is your objective case vijayan deer this is these are all your objective case if i ask whose pen is this you will say it is sendil's pen it is possessed by sendil so it is possessive case so we can express the noun in different case forms one is your subjective case the subjective case is also called as nominative case there is another name for uh, the subjective case it is also called as nominative case the objective case is also called as accusative case accusative case and the third one is your possessive case and you are adding an apostrophe whose pen is this it is sendil pen sendil you put a apostrophe and you put yes so here you modify the now sendils sumadhi's daughter the president's vehicle you will put an apostrophe so you must know when you are reading a matter you will come across such naming words with an apostrophe that means it is a possessive case of noun so when a noun is used as a subject it is in the subjective or it is the in the subjective or nominative case and the and if you ask who what which where you will get the answer sometimes the noun is also in the objective form objective or accusative case and the objective nouns are answers to the questions who what and we have we are having some guidelines for writing the possessive cases you must put an uh, apostrophe to the single nouns for example sendil spell 
lion's den it is the principal's room principal principal's room principal dash apostrophe yes we put an apostrophe so apostrophe yes that is a uh, used to for indicating the possessive nouns and uh, sometimes we used to indicate the plural nouns in the possessive form also for example if it is a college of men we say men's college men's college men plural word men's college now women's college similarly and sometimes instead of uh, mentioning men's college if you say boys college see you put the apostrophe after yes boys college b o y s what is the difference the apostrophe should not come here it is b o y s after yes you put an apostrophe so this is your uh, way of expressing the possessive nouns for the plural words now let us come to the last part of the exercise for lesson 2 that is uh, let us enrich our vocabulary boys you may remember the motivational text that is given by our uh, paulo coelho this is the motivational text of our uh, paulo coelho enrich your vocabulary so in the motivational text that is in the beginning of the lesson 2 we it states that to really be good to become really good at anything you have to practice and repeat practice and repeat until until the technique becomes intuitive paulo coelho answer the question what is mean by intuition what is mean by intuition and you are given a list of words which are very similar to intuition very similar to intuition the words are given they may be synonyms of intuition foresight astute find an astute person for the post of principal i have made one sentence suppose if the principal's post is vacant in a school or in a college the management will say or the government will say find an astute person a s t u t e astute person perceptive acumen perceptive acumen vision we call such people suppose if we have a great personality in one yamadi town and he builds a college for the welfare of the poor people for or for the welfare of the children of 
daily workers the man will be called as a visionary that means he had a thought about the future future of the children who are from the very low income group very poor families who are the children who are the who are from the families of daily workers laborers so we call such people as visionaries vision what is the meaning of vision so try to make one sentence then and there i also make sentence when i am speaking about the vocabulary but you try to make more number of sentence by finding the meaning of these words these are all words very resembling to intuition foresight astute vision perceptive acumen try to find the meaning of these words and you have to express yourself gender is one of the aspects of nouns even the animal world we used to mention the names of male and female with some specific names for example we have the animals tiger tigress lion lioness so even our world is also divided into man and woman see this is what you were thinking our world is divided into man and woman or men and women man and woman w o m e n woman or men and women so men refers to male and female that is about the gender see our world is divided into male and female actually we come across a lot of problem in the society in the family in the place where you are working you are studying okay see there is a divide between male and female there is a gap between the male and female in our families in our working conditions in our working places in your place where you study and uh, in the society overall we can see and you call this one as gender bias gender bias see in our family the parents are giving in some of the families the parents are giving importance to boys and uh, they give least importance to girls the reason is the girls they get married and they will go to some other's house whereas the boys will stay with our parents that, that is the culture in our society the boys stay with the parents and they have to look after their parents since the, the parents have to be looked after by the sons in the old age the parents are giving a lot of importance to the sons they show love and affection towards the son when compared to the girls so this is in your family the boys are given preference many families are preferring male children only they give least importance to female children and we have male and female employees in a working place they are doing the same work but the salary is different men are given more wage men are given more salary when compared to women 
we give so many reasons ah women are uh, doing less of work they are not physically strong because of that they are doing less of work whereas men are strong they do lot of physical work they can do lot of physical work so if you have such an attitude that is the gender bias so our in our society gender bias or gender divide gender bias or gender divide there is a gap there is a division gender divide or gender bias is existing in our society so this is the exercise given to you as a human being share your views see your mother is a woman your sister is a woman okay after some years all of you boys will get married and your wife is going to be a woman so ask yourself do we discriminate the woman and you are supposed to share your views write an essay on gender bias or gender divide how it is practiced in the society how it ruins your society and what do you say about this gender bias or gender divide whether you will support the gender bias or whether you will try to save at least your woman in the family from their sufferings due to the gender bias so as i already told you in the previous lecture you are supposed to buy a 100 page or more than 100 pages notebook ruled notebook in the ruled notebook you are supposed to write all these exercises or day i will call you before giving the internal marks i will call you you are you are supposed to submit the notebook if it is not possible for you to submit the notebooks personally then you have to send the photocopies scanned photocopies as what you have done for your caa examination if you send the photocopies i will ask you to submit the book if it is not possible we hope the college may reopen very soon in the month of december let us hope for the best if the college reopens and uh, if you have the offline classes in the month of december or in the middle of december then we i will see the notebooks write the answers you are supposed to write an essay about gender bias you share your views what is gender bias how it is practiced in the family in the working place in a bus in a train what are the measures taken by the government to overcome this gender bias and what you will do whether you will support or whether you will oppose the gender bias in your family in your working place or in your life totally share your views you have to write an essay for about some 250 words or two or three pages in your notebook maintain a separate notebook remember ruled notebook that is only a, that is a, to improve your handwriting so write everything in your ruled notebook keep it you are supposed to submit the scanned copy or the physical copy in person as per the situation or as per the request made by me so let us continue in the next class thank you